hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, so being a developer we should know different kinds of tools and their uses correct so today I have come up with a amazing uh, tool uh, and I will explain in details uh, with different kinds of functionality right so the tool is IntelliJ idea and git right so I will show you I will explain you how we will use git with IntelliJ idea right so already I have uh, make a series uh, with for git uh, using uh, using command line uh, so I will I will save that uh, playlist link in the description section you can go uh, go through that as well and there I have explained uh, uh, there I have explained what is git and how to set up git and everything I, everything is done there so in this series I am gonna create a series with IntelliJ idea and git so in this series we're gonna see how we'll use git using IntelliJ idea right so, uh, so already I have uh, different uh, topics I'll gonna cover uh, uh, I'll gonna cover in this series so uh, initially I thought uh, to make a single video with entire uh, entire topics but later point of time I thought that no no uh, I mean uh, if you segregate this uh, segregate this topic and create a uh, create a individual video for each topic then it will be beneficial and people will people will be more interested right because uh, anyway two hours video means it's very hectic and people might not will will not be interested but if you if you will make this entire series with the chunks uh, then then people will uh, definitely will be interested right okay so uh, don't be uh, let's okay so let's uh, start let, let's start and I'll, I will explain you or I will gonna show you uh, what are the different kinds of topic you will gonna cover here right so here you can see these are the topics uh, I will gonna cover in this entire series so load your project to IntelliJ idea from git right so already that remote repository is there, uh, remote repository is there, and uh, project also there in that remote repository. And how to take that project to your IntelliJ IDEA? First, this is right. Then how to see local changes and commit commit the changes. This means uh, already project you have uh, taken from. Uh, Git to your IntelliJ IDEA, and you have modified some files right you have modified some local files then you want to uh, commit those changes right so we'll gonna see how we'll do that one and next uh, how to add new files and commit those files as well as we're gonna see then how to see the logs right so uh, multiple times we will we'll commit to our repository and some other developers also will commit their changes to that repository and you want to see those changes right you want to see those commits how we're gonna see I will gonna explain okay so how to uh, take next how to take the changes from remote repository right uh, uh, as as a developer will uh, I mean will participate in different kinds of project right they're not only me or not only you right so a uh, lot of other developers also will be uh, will be part of the team and they will also gonna uh, push their code push their code to remote repository right so how will how I or you will uh, take those changes to your uh, local right so I will gonna explain that one as well and how to delete uh, some commits uh, last commit suppose you have committed some changes to your uh, to your uh, repository and uh, committed some changes to your repository and you want to revert that one right I will gonna explain how we'll do that one and reset the branch to the particular commit if you want to reset your uh, reset your local branch <coughs> sorry if you want to reset your local branch to some particular commit uh, we'll see how we'll do that one I'll gonna explain that one as well and merge conflict and how to solve okay this is pretty uh, pretty much uh, pretty much uh, not difficult I will say but Mm, you, we should not fall in this uh, conflict matter right <laughs> because anyway you will you will get a headache if you will put into merge conflict personally I will personally uh, always I felt very headache for this merge conflict but 
because in real time uh, a lot of files will be there and very difficult to uh, which changes will take which changes i will remove uh, this one this one is very headache okay definitely i'll gonna explain how i'll do that one no worries then coming into uh, next kt branch and swiss different swiss branch right so branches uh, ideally in git uh, while developing some functionality will create a branch then will develop right so we'll see how to create a branch and how to switch different kind of different branches that one also we're gonna see and last but not the least git stars so stars means uh suppose uh, you are developing something and in between uh, you got a task and you want to change your branch from dev to q qa right so that time already you have developed something partially developed something and still some work is pending right suppose you want to store that one store those changes to some temporary temporary storage and uh, just just uh, switch to qa and develop those uh, and fix the fix that um, issue issue uh, issue in that qa branch then again move to dev and apply those changes right uh, oh, I, I think you have you you have not got that one what i have excellent explained but while uh, in that i mean uh, in that particular session when i am going to explain stars i will explain in details right so this is that entire series agenda maybe uh, down uh, maybe a later point of time or down the line i can add some more uh, topics but uh, initially we'll cover these topics right hope you got a clear cut idea right so let's uh, first start uh, today's uh, today's topic so load your project to intellij idea from git right so multiple ways we can do this one so what is first i mean if you are using command line or git cli git cli then from that you can clone that uh, git clone by using git clone you can do that one you can clone that project to your local uh, local uh, or local machine then import to intellij idea this is one way and next way is that directly in intellij idea right directly import from uh, remote repository right so anyway we're gonna see in uh, intellij idea so already i have opened my intellij idea okay so i'll gonna show you how i'll do that one whenever you will go to a company uh, they will provide you a uh, bitbucket uh, user id password right like in in uh, like here i do have github they will provide you bitbucket user id password or uh, similarly something either bitbucket or some other things are there gitlab uh, not gitlab uh, bitbucket and some other repositories are there uh, ideally bitbucket they will provide you or git okay so from there uh, whatever the project or whatever the repository right so you will get a url right so for example uh, this one okay so here that here that where is that one oops okay okay uh, let me search one project load custom yml so this project i will gonna oh sorry so here it's there so here i need to copy this uh, uh what this url for this repository and exactly in your uh, whenever you enter in a company they will provide you a github user id password or bitbucket user id password after login into you will see that repository particular repository and ideally uh, in uh, in the company uh, you you do not have access to all the repository whatever that repository is required to you or you are aligned to that project that repository only you can see or some companies have it's a publicly available all those repository okay so let me copy this uh, url and let's go file 
new and what is that project project from version control it's a git and here you can provide your url okay so let's test okay good let's see let's clone this project uh this window let me open this window what's wrong yep we have done so in this way uh we can uh load that project from github or bitbucket to IntelliJ idea right then whatever you want you can develop your code and uh, uh, you can test your code whatever you want you can do right so this is that uh, this is that way we can load that project to IntelliJ idea from github or bitbucket right so hope you uh, got a clear picture how to do that one right this is the first duty whenever you will enter a, enter a company and start the project right? this is the first step okay so uh, hope this video will be helpful to people and uh, let me know if you if you want some particular or specific videos i will uh, definitely i will try to upload those things as well so don't forget to like comment uh, your valuable feedbacks in the comment section right so thank you for watching and subscribe my channel as well right <laughs> okay cool